We end tonight at the International Robotics Competition. For some of the teams, Chip Reed tells us the biggest challenge was just getting to the USA. In Washington today, you might be relieved to know that robots stole the spotlight from the politicians. They were designed and built by teams of teenagers from 158 countries. And winning required cooperating with other nations. Is winning the most important thing? No, definitely not. What's the most important thing? Having fun. There was no shortage of that. Some teams had more challenges than others. Syrian refugees identified their nation simply as hope. Team Afghanistan. But perhaps no group overcame more adversity than this team from Afghanistan, where girls are discouraged from pursuing education. Just ask 16-year-old Rodaba Nouri. Of course, it's uh, hard for uh, Afghan girls because there is no school or no uh, college. To get to the U.S., they twice had to make the 500-mile journey from their home in western Afghanistan through Taliban-controlled territory to the capital, Kabul, to get visas. And both times they were denied until President Trump intervened and authorized special visas. But concerns about terrorism delayed their package of robot parts, so they had only two weeks to build theirs. Other groups had much longer. But in their first round today, they won, working with teams from Estonia and Gabon. And there they go. Despite all the challenges, this group of future engineers and computer scientists made clear they will not be deterred from their dreams. We want to be the young leader of uh, robotic uh, technology and science in Afghanistan. We want to work with men to improve our country and make it a better place. And in the process, perhaps making the world a better place too. Chip Reed, CBS News, Washington.